Hi, this is Rochelle with Live in Vibrancy, and I want to talk about momentum. <clears throat> so I had a friend, and she was asking me, why is it, um, so her and her partner were separated, and she's doing all the work, so she's telling the right stories, and she's seeing her partner in the right light, um, but she wasn't really getting um, the results that she wanted. So she asked me to um, explain to her what's going on. So I decided because I spent a lot of years in kindergarten and I like a good chart that I would create a visual aid. And the issue is momentum. So that's today's topic. <clears throat> okay, so here's my friend. And so she uh, is over here. These are all her thoughts and perceptions. Oh, my earring is caught. Fantastic. <laughs> so she is over here. So these are all the thoughts and perceptions that she has. Um, so like, he doesn't love me, he loves someone else, um, he doesn't respect me, he doesn't make time for me, like pick. Doesn't matter what the contents are, the fact is they're over here, right? So her and her partner are separated. They got here because of limited pers like negative perceptions and such. And so she is over here thinking he doesn't love me, all of that stuff. Now, her partner is over here. So what would happen is she would start, um, she would start thinking the right things. She would start thinking, well, he really loves me and um, he like whatever, whatever the, the story is that she wants to create, she would start telling this story. And so she would start moving towards him. And then what would happen is something would pop up so circumstance and um for whatever reason she would get hooked into it and then she would go right back here so she would be angry she would feel come to all these like negative conclusions and so all the while her partner is over here right and so they remain separated because each time something happened she would in essence change her momentum. So when she is going, so when she starts, she's telling right stories, my partner really loves me, blah, 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 get going and, you know, something pops up, circumstance pops up, she gets caught in it and now she's right back here again because now she gets hooked into the negative energy and starts thinking about all the negative perceptions and things. So if you're not seeing results and you feel like you're doing all the work, what's happening is every time you confront your partner, every time you get caught in negative thoughts, every time you buy into a limited perspective of yourself, you are in essence reversing your momentum. And so that is why moving through circumstances is the work. So when she really started to see results was when she would get going in the right perspective, she's the only woman for her partner, she get going, get going, get going, and then circumstance pops up, but instead of looking at the circumstances and getting caught back in these negative perceptions, she did the, you know, stabilized herself emotionally, told the right story, or kept telling her the story that got her here, not letting, not getting her, like, not getting deflected. So now she's gaining momentum. She can move through circumstances and get here. That is why always... First off, you want to have momentum. So if you've been telling a lot of negative stories, if you have a lot of negative perceptions, if you've been feeling a lot of negative emotions and you are not catching yourself and changing that, then in essence, the momentum you have is this or this or this. But as you can see, the momentum gets going this way and then it gets going back. That is why moving through circumstances is important because you want to get positive momentum. So I always like to think of it as the Titanic on a string. This is an analogy I used to use um, when I would teach people, 
right? And it's basically the same idea. So it's like we have positive energy and negative energy. And if you are in a breakup, chances are this is where you are in negative energy, right? About your specific topic. I don't mean to imply that you're negative or whatever, but you have negative perceptions and negative emotions around the subject of whatever it is you're trying to create, whether it's money or um, like a house or, you know, whatever it is, a person, it doesn't matter. So you're over here. This is the Titanic. So whenever you, you're currently over here. So whenever you think and feel and act on negative things, you pull the nose of the Titanic to the negative space. So do you see that you're going to have to think? So let's see, this was three negative thoughts, right? One, two, three negative thoughts to get from here to here. If you're in a breakup, chances are good you've had this many negative thoughts. Like, it could go on. <clears throat> so if you want to get to positive, you're not just going to think two positive thoughts and get over here. Look at you need to not only, right, so here's neutral, you need to not only get into the positive side, but you think of how many, one, two, three, four, and I don't mean to like count to imply you only need to think four, but I'm trying to illustrate that if the nose of the Titanic is this far into the negative side, you not only have to persist longer just to get to neutral, you then have to continue positive, 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 and this is all the while you have got circumstances, right? So if your nose is over on this side, if you're in a really low state, then your nose could be over here. If you feel more negative than positive about your situation, so now through circumstance, you have to be able to think positive, 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 positive. Now you're at neutral. You're just at neutral space. This is why you're not seeing results just by thinking a little bit of positive stuff. You have a lot of negative momentum built up. So you want to go positive, 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 right? Enough for you to get yourself into the positive side of where you are. And so I don't mean for this to be a literal example, but to really kind of give you a visual aid of how the energy works. You're not going to, if you have built a lot of negative energy, a lot of negative momentum, a lot of negative perceptions, a lot of negative feelings and conditioning around a specific subject, you are going to need to move through circumstance because as you do in a positive, maintaining your positive trajectory by doing the, like stabilizing yourself emotionally and telling a positive story, you're going to need to move through all of these circumstances. And that is in essence also going to be subconscious work. Every time you can look a circumstance in the face and not get hooked in, you shift your brain chemistry, like your brain wiring and you shift your physiology, you change your conditioning. So the more of these that you can move through, the more um, you shift your conditioning to something positive. All right, so hopefully that is um, clear and I don't want any nasty messages about how, um, th because this is not literal, this is a visual aid for you to understand the energy. Um, and yeah, if you have questions, please ask them and yeah, until next time, uh, live like you can't fail because you are limitless.